If you're as big a fan as I am when it comes to anything dinosaur related, you too must be fascinated by the incredible saltwater crocodile. If you travel to the regions of eastern India, southeast Asia, or northern Australia, you may see the enormous creature lurking in any large body of water as they are able to make their way through fresh and salt water. But all observations should be kept from a safe distance as these creatures aren't designed for getting close to when they get hungry. Welcome to Content Jungle. Today on Animal Profiles, we'll be covering the magnificent saltwater crocodile. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see all the latest releases. Without further ado, let's learn about the saltwater crocodile. This creature is one of the biggest reptiles to currently roam the planet, with the bigger of the males being recorded over 20 feet long, and a lot bigger than the females who are around 10 feet long. Before they are huge dangerous predators, they start off considerably smaller. Like all other reptiles, they reproduce by internal fertilization and they will lay their eggs in a nest ashore where the mother will guard her nest of approximately 50 eggs. The eggs take about 12 weeks until they begin to hatch. Once the little guys are hatched, the mother will often carry them to nearby waters to help them to avoid being picked off by potential predators where she will look after them for several months. Like other reptiles, the temperature of the nest plays a vital role in determining the sex of the croc with warmer nests creating males and cooler nests creating females. Baby saltwater crocs sustain themselves by feeding on small fish and insects. Saltwater crocodiles can be seen in mangrove swamps, coastal marshes, and river mouths. They cannot produce their own heat, so they can be spotted on banks sunbathing where they leave their mouths open, as that is where their sweat comes from. It has also been remarkably recorded that there have been some saltwater crocodiles that have traveled up to 30 miles out from their homes to the open sea. As they travel great distances, they must sustain themselves with a lot of food. They really have their pick and are very capable of eating most animals and are opportunistic eaters. They lurk at the water's edge, undetected, waiting for their chance to get a meal. When an animal gets in their range, they'll explode out of the water using their powerful tail and capture their prey and grab it and drag it into the water where the prey is killed by their powerful jaws and they are also drowned. The croc's most dangerous move is the death roll where they grip their prey and roll repeatedly. This move is not only to kill their prey but also to rip it apart which allows them to eat it as they are not able to consume it any other way. If food presents itself, they will feed. They feed on fish, birds, crabs, turtles and mammals that get too close to the water's edge. Some mammals who meet their unfortunate ending by the crocs are wallabies, water buffalo, pigs, and other cattle. Adult crocodiles will take a bite out of anything that ventures too close and make a snack out of them. Like we discussed earlier, the saltwater crocodile is the largest reptile on the planet. And from that, the biggest to ever be caught, recorded, and put into captivity was Lolong. The croc had been suspected in the disappearance of a fisherman and a young girl who had been discovered two years prior. The animal was captured in September of 2011. The croc was recorded at 20 feet long and 3 inches and at a weight over 2300 pounds. Now if that is not a real life dinosaur, I don't know what is. Sadly, this iconic saltwater crocodile would die two years later in captivity. After Lolong died, his body was stuffed and taxidermied at the National Museum of the Philippines, where he would eventually be moved to the National Museum of Natural History. The saltwater crocs by design have been well equipped to be the apex predator of their environments. They blend into their waters with their dark brown and green colorations, which allows them to get close to their victims without being detected. They can launch on shore with their extremely muscular tail as well as launching themselves out of water from a stationary position. These animals are truly what a modern day dinosaur looks like. These amazing animals have sadly almost seen their end. Throughout recent times, they were hunted to near extinction by their only real predators, humans. They were hunted for their skin, meat, and eggs, which led to a rapid decline. Thankfully, they were put back under protection in 1971, which allowed their species to bounce back in great numbers. The crazy thing about saltwater crocodiles is that they can be owned with the correct permits in some places but they are extremely dangerous animals and should be treated as such. They are amazing creatures and with the correct safety precautions, they can be incredible to observe, whether at a zoo or in the wild. They are fascinating and all dinosaur fans have a certain level of admiration for these animals, as they are a few creatures that allow an insight to the animals of the past. Whether they are lurking in the murky marshes or swimming in the open sea, 
there are beautiful creatures that everyone should keep their distance from as they have and do attack people. As they are believed to be able to live up to 70 years in the wild, I do hope that there can be a male who can fully make it to that age, so we can observe in awe of how massive it would be. Sadly, the larger and older ones are being hunted and males are the primary target, which doesn't allow them to reach their full growth potential in the wild. There have been a few cases where they have survived over a century in captivity, but without being able to roam free and eat and compete with other crocs, it is hard to determine what their full potential could be. The saltwater crocodiles are amazing, and it's great to learn about and observe them and respect their astounding power. And if you ever come across one, you always want to keep your distance. Be sure to subscribe and be kept up to date with the latest videos. I'm curious to hear your opinion on the saltwater crocs. What do you find most interesting about the dinosauric creatures? Until next time, this is Content Jungle, signing out.